Johanna. Johanna. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. As I mentioned in a previous video, I was going away to visit family and before that I was super sick. My whole family was super sick so I didn't really get an opportunity to film some videos in advance that I could put up for you guys. I could have videos going up while I was away so it's just been a little while since I've put some videos up for you guys. I've been missing making videos and I've been missing crafting so I'm really excited to get back into it. I've got lots of ideas to share. But today's video is a flip through of my completed journal. So I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, you've probably seen my videos before. But if you are new to my channel, I just wanted to say a few things so that you understand what the background of this is. First thing I want to say is this is, this is a journal that I've made myself. So I made the whole journal myself. If you have no idea about that and you're interested in in learning more about that you can watch previous videos of mine and there's lots of other videos out there as well that can tell you a bit more about making your own journals. The second thing I wanted to say is this is a junk journal or what is commonly called a junk journal now. It's not actually made of junk so it's not typically um, like a junk journal by its original definition but it is called a junk journal now and basically what that is is a journal that is made up of a big variety of different papers so uh, for example storybook pages vintage ledger papers scrapbook papers envelopes and stuff like that so all the pages are different and it just makes it a little bit more fun to use the only other thing I wanted to say in case you're new is that if you're looking at the pages and you want to know how it got to the finished point that it is I do have a playlist on my channel called Junk Journal with me which actually has um, a bunch of videos of me working in this particular journal so as I flip through this I will explain my process um, a little bit as well but yeah this is probably going to be a bit of a lengthy video so I just want to get I just want to get into the flip through and it's very chunky, you guys can see. This is more chunky than I wanted it to be when it was finished. I definitely did not allow myself enough room to expand in here. So when you open it up, this is the inner cover and I've just put a, this is um, a tea packet I was gonna put into my journal and never did, but I just put a library card pocket and a library card and I wrote down the date that I started writing in this book and I haven't written down the date that I finished but I need to do that and then it just has my name on it. So I have been uh, using this journal since the 4th of March so that's quite some time and yeah I don't journal in this every day and I don't journal from front to back so I just kind of pick a page and journal on it and I don't write. I don't just write I mean I do write but I don't just right. I put pictures and papers and ephemera and stuff from my day-to-day -day life in here. So this is just a page where I did a little bit of journaling and I stuck a childhood photograph. And then that page just continued on to the next page and I've just journaled. So I do journal directly onto scrapbook paper and I'm fine with that. If the page is too busy that you can't read it, I will put something on top of it so like here I've just stuck on a, an extra journal card and just journaled on top of that and there's another one there and I've just stuck a couple of stickers and then this is just like a little bit like a little sample of some vintage lace sometimes I'll have a photo floating around that I want to put somewhere so I just stick it in this is an older photo of when my second son was born so I just stuck that in there with some washi tape and then this is just random stuff from the doctor, so like, just like a little sticky note and um, a book suggestion that the doctor gave to my husband. And then this is a this is a embroidered hanky which I just bound in as a actual page, and so I just stapled the uh, ephemera straight on top of that. This is just a card and envelope from when we moved into our new house so stuck that in there and put some stickers and then on the back there's another envelope actually some notes actually from our wedding so tucked in there this is just from a magazine 
some washi tape and stuff. This is a book page, which I liked the illustration. So I, I didn't want to cover it up too much. And then something else from our wedding, I just cut our names out of it. And it was like an envelope or something. On this page, I did a little mishmash of things. And I didn't do all of it on the same day either. So sometimes I'll put a few things down and then I'll come back and put more things down. So this was when I wanted to try out the tape transfers. Nina from the Real Bookery channel did a great video on the transfers so I'll link that below I'll try to remember to link that below but I I tried out a bunch of those so you see some of those throughout here which was really fun some scraps of paper there and a photo from my kids room after we moved in and then I just did my journaling here on some note paper so this is vintage note paper I'm not going to open it up but I've just tucked it into an envelope here I put a picture that my son drew and um, like a little tag and it's like some lolly wrappers that I've glued down in a menu. On the next page, again there's a bunch of stuff glued down. So on this side of the page, this is a beautiful hanky card my friend Marge made and it's so beautiful. I wanted to put it in my own journal. And inside there's like these vellum pages so I stuck a photo there of my kids and then just a sticker on the page behind that. So pretty. And I like how she's got the little buttons hanging off. I like to have little bits and pieces hanging out of my journal that you can see when it's closed and just like little tactile bits and pieces. So I stuck a photo of our house here and then on this side this is like a another envelope, just like a junk mail envelope I think somebody actually sent me super cute little picture on it. I stuck a sticker and I just used the window here as like a little photo window and I've just got a picture of my son who had fallen asleep on the floor and I just stapled it to a journal card here and just did a little bit of journaling. So that tucks in there. On this side of the envelope I've got these gorgeous little bits of packaging from the jewelry store when Katie met soda. Absolutely beautiful packaging. So I just wanted to keep that and I just used the tape that she used in the parcel and some staples to reinforce that in. And then here's another one of those tape transfers on the other page. And this is a note. And then underneath there you can see the book illustration and I just did a little bit of journaling on some it's like the inside of an envelope. Sometimes if a page is too busy to write on, I'll just collage something down and write on top of that. Next page, I've got some pictures of my kids in the flowers and I didn't want to cover up this illustration at all, so I just left that. And then under here, I think I've got some journaling. So that's just like an old card. And this is a copy, like a printed copy of a drawing that I had done a long time ago now. Inside here, this is uh, a vellum pocket that I made. I just printed some florals onto some vellum and I've just got a couple of photos of my two boys and myself tucked in there. And then underneath here, I've just got like a list and some doodling, the other side of that hanky. And then on this page, I just stuck a paper bag put in a painting that my son had done at preschool and a picture of him sitting by our front door. So I just stuck that there. And then on the next page, I've got more of that vellum paper that I printed. This actually could be a pocket, but I never put anything in there. This is a photo of some flowers that my son picked me. And then on this side, I've just put a quote and some stickers on some, um, this was like a leftover from something that I had made. And on the back of that, I just did a little drawing of like my hands and my jewellery and just wrote about some of the jewellery that I like to wear most often. I don't wear much jewellery. I'm actually not wearing any jewellery at the moment, but I just wanted to do a little drawing and, and kind of write out the meanings of each thing. And then on this side, I just got another picture of my youngest son, whose name is Ren. And I just put some stickers and stuff around there. On this page, I've got another drawing. This is another old drawing of when, just after my son was born, I just did a drawing of us together and put a little bit of watercolour paints in the wreath that I drew. 
So I just stapled that on here. There's just like a random drawing on the back. So that was just kind of floating around and I wanted to put it somewhere. So I put it in here. And then on this page, I've got some more childhood photos and a recent photo of myself. So I don't really have a lot of pictures taken of myself or take a lot of pictures of myself. And this was kind of just like the most recent one that I had from a photo shoot my sister did. My sister's a photographer, so she took some pictures of us and the kids. And so I just tucked that away in there because there's a lot of other people in my journals and a lot of about my kids and not that much of me in photos anyway so I just hid that away in the pocket and then I love this paper so I didn't want to cover that up I just put this envelope over the page I think I have a process video on this particular page and so I put a picture of my kids in some other flowers <laughs> this is a different time just some photos that I took of them and in this envelope I put another I think this is another yeah another drawing my son did at school this is a picture of our first scan of the baby that I'm pregnant pregnant with right now so I tucked that away in there too this is some fabric that I just wanted to glue down here and have a bit of that print in my journal and then on the other page I just got another photo here which I backed onto a paint chip and I put my journaling on a separate bit of vintage paper. Another one of those tape transfers, I did some stamping, coloured it in um, just with pencil, journal card, bits and pieces that people have sent me. And then there's this beautiful note card here which again I glued over the page so it lifts up and I just put my journaling underneath and put another picture of my kids from the same day and then just put a bunch of stickers around it and then on the back page I've got another paint chip there I haven't I was going to journal on this but I never did so there's still some room in here probably if I wanted to go back and write more I probably could but I can't really stick anything else in here because of how chunky it is so yeah I'm kind of just ready to move on to the next journal now but yeah you will see a few pages in here that I could go back and add more to if I wanted to but as I said I'm it doesn't bother me so I'm happy just to leave it as it is. So another illustration here that I didn't want to cover up um, I just put some stickers around it. Another photo of my kids and a sticker here and then a couple more pictures of my kids and these are some of my vintage linens printables so um, I've just stuck them around the page, did a tiny bit of journaling not too much on there, did just some journaling on this page I had these envelopes in here but I never even sealed them up <laughs> and I never used them so it's just kind of there but it was just an envelope I made out of a book page. This page is completely blank so I haven't done a single thing on there but because it's a scrapbook paper and it's quite a pretty scrapbook paper it doesn't look unfinished it looks like this is something you could almost frame it's so pretty so that doesn't bother me at all. And on some of the pages I used black acrylic paint and I just painted over the page or parts of the page and then I'll just journal over it with a white pen. So I did a little bit of writing here and then I stuck a couple of tea bag um, tag things down the bottom from when we were really sick I was drinking so much tea. I stuck those in there and then um, this is just like a gratitude card that I stuck in here and a vellum piece which I think came from the reject shop here in Australia. I put this really beautiful wide tape over the edge of this page because it was a little bit fragile and ripping in some places so I just edged it and I didn't really want to cover that illustration up so I just left it as is. And on the opposite page I glued down a drawing that my sister, one of my little sisters did so you stuck that in there on the next page again I have more pictures of my kids this is from autumn so there was lots of beautiful trees and I grabbed a couple of the leaves off the ground and put them in this plastic pocket and stapled them down so they won't move and then over here I had this postcard from it was like a freebie in a magazine a couple of years ago 
and I hadn't used it and I liked the orange leafy print for autumn so I did my journaling on the back of that, stuck a sticker and just tucked it in this pocket. And then this page is actually all vellum and on the back I put another big leaf from the same day. This page, again, I really like this paper, I think it's so cute, didn't want to cover it up and since it was all about fishing, I had this old picture of my son when he caught his first fish and so I just stuck that on the page and just put a bit of this floral paper behind that. This is just from a magazine, this is another page that I didn't ever do anything to and again it's such a pretty illustration here that I kind of don't really want to or feel the need to anyway, it's just pretty to look at. So my journal is very much visual for me, even though it has some writing in it, this this is the way that I use my junk journals, I like to keep them very visual, I like to stick things down that either have a meaning to me or are from my real life or just things that I like the look of, so like children's book illustrations or things from magazines that I like. So it's just, it's there's not much thought that goes into creating the pages either. I just kind of stick things where they fit, where I think they look nice. I enjoy the creative process of putting the things together, but I don't fuss over or overthink it too much because it just takes the joy out of documenting it. So on this page, I stapled this illustration down as a flip so that I could put a photo of my kids again. You see a lot of photos of my kids in my junk journals, but a picture of them asleep having a cuddle. A little bit of journaling about the photo underneath. And then this is a big envelope here that I tipped in or added into my journal at a later time. This was something I got in Happy Mail from Nazi. So she made this beautiful envelope. It's got some lace on the next page, which I'll show you in a minute. And I love the floral, so I added it into my journal as an extra page. And so on the outside, I glued a few things. This is like a to-do list. Um, something that came in Happy Mail from somebody else. And then inside here that Nazi sent me and some journaling, I think. Some journaling and yeah, just random bits and pieces in that envelope. Such a nice size envelope and it fit really, really well in here. So I just touched a bunch of stuff in there. So on the back page, as I said, she had stitched this beautiful little bit of trim and it's a little tuck pocket. So I tucked some stuff behind here. I'm pretty sure I have a process video of this page on my channel if you want to see it. But I used this paper bag and put a picture of my kids eating ice cream and did some journaling on the journal card that flips up like this. And I just liked how it was a little bit see-through that you could see them and stuck a sticker on there. And then I also have this card that my friend Marge made. Again, it's absolutely beautiful. So I did my journaling on the inside of that and stuck an extra picture from the same day. And there's also um, a little ticket from getting some fish and chips to take to the beach. On this page I've got some journaling, I've got some fabric samples, I've got a little tea packet here with another little bit of um, the packaging that came in the Happy Mail. I don't like to throw away the little bits of packaging, especially when you can tell that so much thought and time has gone into packing them up. So tucked that in there. This page is not used yet. I think that by the time I got around to this page, we were expecting another baby and I kind of wanted to save this page for something to do with, I don't know, some kind of journaling to do with the new baby. So I haven't done anything with this page yet, but I absolutely love this illustration so much. It's so cute. On the next page, I have covered up some of the journaling with sticky notes just because there's some um, private information on this page, but I did the black acrylic paint and then I got my white pen and I just did some drawing and some journaling and then I left this part of the page as it were with the house illustration. I thought it was really, really cute so I didn't want to cover that up. And I just journaled around it. Opposite page here, I haven't really done anything, I've just put a quote. And um, you will notice as well if you are new to my channel that I've got all these weird little tabs hanging off my pages 
and they are there for decoration and as I said for like a tactile element to add to my journal so I do have a video actually of me putting these tabs on my on my journal so if you would like to see that video I'll try and remember to link it below as well this page smells so good because I put an old perfume box and I sprayed some of the perfume on it. It smells just like marshmallows. So I wrote smell and as soon as you open this page you can smell it. Like it's so strong. <sighs> it smells really good. So um, that's a cool little thing to do. I do have a process video on this page as well actually. On this side of the page this is one of the printables from my Etsy shop. The Vintage Linens Printable. And I've just used it to decorate the page. I've stuck a little paper bag here with a label and just journaled a bit about the perfume, where I got it, that kind of thing. Put the date down here. And then, as I said, this is the perfume box. It was such a beautiful perfume box, I had to keep it. And I had been hoarding it for quite a while. So I decided to put it in here, put a picture down here where all the um, boring writing was on the packet. And it flips up and then I've just got my journaling on some notepaper underneath this pocket that I made. I left the top of the box overhanging the page as well, just as a tab. And you can see that I've used the extra bits that were like here and here. I've cut them off and I've also used them as tabs throughout my journal. On the next page I have done, again this is a page I intended to use and never did so I was probably going to do some journaling on this. It's the another vintage linen printable from my Etsy shop and then I've stuck a picture of my kids here and I've covered it up with a sticky note because they are in the backyard they were in the playing pool and they aren't in the nude so I covered that up and then um, again I've got another one of my linens printables here I had a bunch of them floating around after I had shared a video of them and so I went through and I just started sticking them into my journal with the intentions to journal on top of them and stuff but you know they are really beautiful on their own and if you do journal on them you can journal directly on top of them and it looks like a real linen so I just love I just love the way that they look so there's that this is just another picture of me and my kids I've done some journaling on some ledger paper here and then there's another linen here that I had stuck down put some put a quote on it and here is another page that I didn't do anything to on this side. This is a picture of my kids again. I've just stuck it onto a shorter sheet. On the back of that didn't do anything because I liked this paper. Got another little um, painting that I did of my kids. And I just printed it out small and stuck it here onto the book page. I love how the little birdie is over the top. Some interesting illustrations I'd cut from a magazine just after I got my new tapes I did a whole video um, including these tapes and I just wanted to test them all out so I stuck a strip of each one onto this page and then I've got another hanky so this is actual fabric that was bound into the journal when I made it and I didn't do anything to that I just left it as it is just like another different uh, textile just something to touch really some journaling about a book I was reading and another linen so again I would have journaled on this page and stuff but I never did. Here's some more black acrylic paint and some white pen from a song and then this is another page that I haven't done anything to yet but now that I look at it after looking at this page I think it would be cool to paint over the words again with black and then do some journaling on that page. I think. The next page, it is kind of hard to see, but this is just some journaling. I just journaled directly onto the scrapbook paper. I wasn't really worried about ever needing to read it again or for anyone else needing to read it. So I just journaled. This is another picture from a magazine. For this page, I know I definitely do have a process video on this page. So if you'd like to see how it came together, there is a video showing that. But pictures of my son, there's like a list I think in here tucked behind the photo, stickers, this is half of a junk mail envelope that I painted and then I just put some tape, some stickers, did some journaling, on the back I stuck a journal card and then inside a note from Mother's Day 
And then I've just done some more journaling. I created this window here with acetate uh, so that I could put a flower that my son had picked for me, um, something from his preschool. And then on the back, I've got a picture of my other son. Did a bunch of journaling, stuck a sticker. This is from a magazine as well. There's the back of that hanky. And this is a, this is a pattern envelope that came in some mail. So I've put some more tape here to like reinforce where I had opened it or where it was opened at the top. I stuck this quote and some tape and then there's like some stuff tucked into that pocket which I'm not going to pull out. Next page I've got this little pocket here and it just has a note from my husband in there and then underneath here I've got some um, swatches of some scented texts that I got from my kids. So if you smell it you can kind of kind of just smell what they smell like but not really so that's in there more illustrations from book pages that i didn't do anything to more pages here that i didn't do anything to some journaling on this page i just did a bit of journaling about my younger son ren i stuck a little picture of him here on this is a vintage linens printable for my shop as well except it's from the hand-drawn pack so this is one that i just drew and um, you also get these brooches in the pack so I stuck one there and then on the opposite page this is a I just printed this on copy paper it's a picture from a children's book a lovely subscriber actually contacted me and said that she had this illustration that reminded me of my son and she sent me a picture of it and I was like oh my gosh that's exactly like my son he always has his middle fingers in his mouth so I just went online and I just printed out a little version of that illustration just because it's so much like what he does the next page I'm pretty sure I have a process video of this page as well so down here I put some eyelets on the page and I put some ribbon this is ribbon from some happy mail this is from a hand-drawn linens pack in the background here is a paper bag or a bit of a paper bag from Subway like a kids meal um, there's some napkins decoupaged on there, some tape, some more tissue paper and then this opens out up here and when you pull it out I've got some journaling on another one of my vintage linens printables on this beautiful card so that kind of hides into the page and then I just put this massive paper clip over the top. Got a little journaling card here with the photo on the back and another pocket here with uh, a photo and a journaling card and then this is a pocket that I made with a with a business card from something that I bought on Etsy and I just punched out two circles so that it had kind of like a little bit of a window pe peeping through so you could see what was in there so this page was a narrow page and I I stuck some photos overlapping the edge of the page here of my Nana and my kids and again, this is a page I've got a process video on on my channel. So there's some wide washi tape, some stickers, uh, an illustration that I glued down, and then this beautiful envelope. And my journaling is all inside the card. I also did a little lazy daisy embroidery on the actual page itself up there and tied it off on the back. This page completely blank, but this page I just journaled directly on top of the paper. These are more linens from my shop, printables, picture of my kids in the flowers. So I often have leftover photos floating around the place and I'll just stick them in as I go, if they fit somewhere, if they look pretty. And I did my journaling inside the paper there. So that folds out. And then these from the same day, so just more pictures of my kids. <laughs> lots and lots of pictures of my kids. Next page, I've just done some journaling again, and this is a pocket that I made with some vellum. I think this is from the Regent shop as well, and I didn't tuck anything behind it, but I could if I wanted to, so that I'd written there. These were nail polish swatches when I got some new nail polishes. <laughs> this page, I really like the pattern on this scrap of paper, so I didn't really want to cover it up, but it had these cute little labels and some of them were blank so I just filled it in with like what to me are important traits to have or 
what I like to have in myself and what I look for in other people. So I just kind of plopped them on the blank labels. And then on this page, this is a little fry bag from Maccas. And I put, I've got like a paint chip and some magazine clippings. And then these were from a magazine as well that I just cut out and stuck on there. I edged the page with my wide tape and then I just did a bunch of journaling there. This page I have a process video on as well. This is a vintage linens printable. This is a hand drawn vintage linens printable. And then I've got some stickers. I've got a big envelope here off the edge of the page with a bunch of stuff in it. Uh, an illustration that kind of reminded me of myself. This is like a picture of myself when I was five. So I stuck that in there. And then in here I've just got like business cards from different shops, packaging, photos, another photo from my childhood and some journaling there on the back. Just put like a quote on the flap of that envelope. So I often will put envelopes over the edge of the page so that on one side you have a flip and then on the other side you just have like the little flap of the envelope. I think this was a page that was bound in here that was really flimsy and so I think I just folded it in half, glued it and then put some wide tape over it. And then here's another page where I've just painted with acrylic paint and then journaled with a white pen. Back of that is a beautiful illustration, there's more of that paper that I haven't done anything with. More journaling, um, some shorter sheets here, vellum sheets, and this is one of my linens printables as well. And I just journaled directly on top of the linen and stapled it to the page. Just stuck another couple of pictures here of my kids in the paddling pool. So it's just on the page with a paper clip. I haven't actually done anything to this paper either. Back of that page is another page I've got a process video on. This was a page where I wanted to document my children's room at that time. So there's a lot happening on this page and yeah, yeah, there's just lots of elements. So scrapbook papers, vintage linens, photos, stickers, um, pockets and tuck spots and stuff like that. So there's a lot happening here. A couple of blank pages. This is from a magazine. And then this is a pocket that I made with, this is like the inside of a junk mail envelope again. Some illustrations in there. So that was, I think that was from a magazine as well. And I just tucked that in there, did some journaling. I'm sorry if it's getting difficult to see, I am at the end of my book. So it's very like chunky and hard to show you, but I've got a picture of some journals that I made, one of my restocks some journaling this vellum page has some patent tissue paper glued on top of it and these girls are cut out of a patent envelope i've got a picture of my son at the park more writing here i've got a envelope with a little booklet drawings and stuff that my son did that my husband helped him do some sketches some more magazine illustrations that i'd cut out just a, like a little list of things that I wanted to get done. Another page I haven't done anything with. So yeah, a lot of the pages that I haven't done anything with, I really like the patterns of. So just having them in there as what they are is okay with me. And on the back side of it, I have done some journaling as well. I'm happy to journal like this up the page rather than across the page. That's fine with me as well. I've got a hanky here that I bound in and didn't do anything to. Um, here in the middle I've got some journaling but I'm not going to actually show it. So there's some journaling and there's the back of that hanky. And then I have got some more journaling there. On this page I have some more journaling and some little small photos. And then this is another page that I didn't do anything with. So towards the back here again I don't have much happening but just like scraps of things like auto failed lotto tickets, magazine clippings. This is another drawing from my sister Ayla. And then uh, on the back here, I've got like, what do I even have? Or extra little patches that I've cut out of a magazine. 
beautiful little illustration, so cute. And this is from a magazine I was in, and I was sent like a big stack of the magazine, so I have like all these extra ones laying around that I don't need. And so I just like cut out a copy of it and stuck it in my journal. I don't think I've got it anywhere else, so I just decided to stick it in here. And then I've just done some journaling um, in between there, which is irrelevant. More beautiful paper. And then in the very back page, I've done some more acrylic painting and some more journaling in white pen. And I'm pretty sure that's the last thing that is in here. So that is my journal. I'm happy just to call it done and move on to the next one now. The thing that really bothers me with chunky books is just storing them. So like, I like to store a lot of my journals in boxes or, or on shelves. And so once you get to a point where your books really like alligator mouth like this, it, they just become really hard to store away neatly, which is why they just drive me crazy. So I have already pretty much made or almost finished making my next junk journal and I was super super careful not to go overboard with the pages I was putting inside so I don't think I'm going to run into this problem with my next journal I hope but yeah when I get that journal finished I'll definitely share a flip through of it when it's blank and then I'll probably start doing some junk journal with me in that journal so if you've stuck around for the entire flip through thank you so much for watching and stopping by um, I hope this has maybe inspired you to journal more or or maybe to try something new in your own journals. Yeah, if you have any questions regarding really anything to do with anything, <laughs> any questions to do with my journaling, the way that I do anything or supplies or whatever, um, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. So I hope to see you in my next video. And I'll see you then. Bye.